Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a nice evening. So we're gonna wrap up the old month here with a topic I like to talk about. And I, I know I could speak for myself because I've been in the business, I've been a part of the coin collecting community for a couple decades now and I have a, a wealth of knowledge when it comes to collecting and finding fresh new ideas, especially for the, the new collectors out there that are getting into the hobby. I know sometimes it can be a little cumbersome because, of, you know, trying to find a direction can be a little bit difficult. But I have an idea for you for a new type of collecting. And um, it all stems from date mint sets. So here's a traditional U.S. mint set that's commonly sold through the U.S. mint. Of course, it's kind of like a gift idea. This is a 1977. So someone in your family that you know is born on this particular date, this would make a great gift. Now, uh, for me, I, I would love it, you know, regardless. But there's nothing to it. It's prepackaged. The mint has done all the hard work for you. It's just a matter of finding the coins to purchase and then disseminating it as a gift. However looking through the red book and if you did watch my video on red book and the information it provides okay there's a section toward the back of the book that has pricing on proof and mint sets so that 1977 mint set it's a p and d set issue price is seven dollars face value is three dollars 82 cents current value is nine dollars that's it whoa so in 40 years the thing has only appreciated two dollars okay it's, it's understood over two million of the 1977s were made for distribution as kind of a gift set so if we could go back all the way back to as far as we can based off of what the guidebook says 1947 was the very first year that the u.s mint had decided to Assemble mint sets for for sale as kind of a novelty as you can see they made 5,000 of them and The current value it's it's worth some money $1,500 I'm not saying you guys should go out there and buy the older mint sets, but I'm thinking as a kind of a fresh direction for you Try assembling a set that's older than that now here's a Whitman holder. I had put this together back in 97 or 98. I actually did it as a um, as a gift for my dad who was born in 35. So I decided to assemble a set of 1935 coins, all Philadelphia, to kind of keep continuity in the whole thing. And uh, so I have a peace dollar. Here's a walking liberty. There's a Washington Quarter, 35, and there's a 35 Mercury Dime. Of course, we have a 35 Buffalo Nickel, and then we're going to wrap it up with a 35 Lincoln Cent. It's a pretty modest assembly of coins, and you notice how on that 47 that's printed in this book for $1,500, I would say the lowest condition coin is the Walking Liberty at a VF, conservatively. The the Peace Dollar is an AU. BU, BU, high AU, maybe it's a BU, and then a uncirculated red brown. So taking into those those type of grades into consideration, in ninety seven I spent fifty-five dollars to put together this rather handsome set for my dad. God bless you, by the way. Uh, this, set, this set ended up coming back to me. And, it, you know, I remember having a lot of joy putting something like this together rather than buying something that's prepackaged from the mint ready to go. You get to select your own coins. You get to select the date you want. Okay, in this case, I picked a birth year date, but I picked a very, I don't know, 35 was the last year of a, of a silver dollar. So that's why it was extra special. 
1936, there was no big silver dollars anymore. It wasn't all the way until 1971 that the Eisenhower dollar, the Ike dollar, came back. So this made it extra special that my dad was born in 35. But it was, I remember having tons of satisfaction putting together this set. Because as someone who was 20 years old at the time, or 19... I didn't have a whole lot of money, money to spend. I was in college, you know, getting out of high school. I was starting life, you know. It was, it was tough, but I wanted to do this. And I would say this is, this is a fantastic choice for a lot of you that are looking to kind of experiment with different coins that the U.S. has made and produced over the, over the years. Sometimes we could get tired of looking at the current modern change that we pull out of our pocket. Uh, you know, you, you, you begin to lose the appreciation for what the U.S. Mint has gone through century after century. And then doing something like this is fun. Now, it's a 35. It's, you know, it's a nice older set with some obsolete type coinage in there that you don't typically see in circulation anymore. So this is a real nice change, but... You guys can even do a set of the, the Barbers. Of course, you'll have a Morgan Dollar in there, but, you know, do an 1895. Or, you know, well, that's kind of the extreme example because all the coins are expensive for the 1895 date, but you could do 1880. You know, assemble a set, find some of the nicer ones that you can, or you do it by grade. Do a complete set in VF and spend under $100. And by the time you assemble a few of these sets, you'll, you'll appreciate the series that you collect a lot more. In addition, you'll probably find a series that you're going to gravitate more and you'll want to expand your collecting on. And that's actually how I got into collecting proof dollars. Some of you already know I'm assembling a NGC soap bar mid-state 61 set of the whole run of peace dollars while not wildly difficult there are a few coins in there that could be a little bit tough and it was all because of this one set i've assembled a few sets since then you know i've done a uh, i did a date run of the 40s because i thought that was a a rather time-altering change in america you know we went through the world war ii and adjusting to life after the war and you know the coins kind of adjusted with you so i felt like that was a really nice transitional set plus my mom was born in 47 so i made it even sweeter but i hope you guys get the big idea uh, if you guys enjoy the content and information provided to you today feel free to hit the like button number one because uh, that's a lot of fun uh, let's see how many likes i could get for this one Feel free to share the content to your favorite social media outlet, you know, whoever that may be, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, w whatever your pleasure is. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like the information, you find it useful, please hit the subscribe button. For every new video I upload, you will receive the new notification of a new video. So I want to thank you guys again for joining. It's always a fantastic, phenomenal pleasure. And if you guys have questions, go ahead and comment below. Uh, if not myself, my esteemed colleagues of subscribers, which is all of you, will, uh, you know, I love it when you guys talk to each other and when I'm not around. So um, appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you on the next one. In fact, I'll see you next month, August. We're almost to the end of summer, baby, and we're going to kick off fall here really soon. That's when coin collecting begins to pick up more. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care.